All right. Um, our client has a bunch of these antique prints. Well, maybe two other ones on a bunch, but she has two of these that are already framed. And she wanted a frame that looks very similar to the old frames. And she wanted, this frame is upside down here. She wanted the outside of the dement frame to be the same dimension as the one she currently has. So when they hang on the wall, they all, they all match. That presents a problem. And if we look at the print, we can see that it is bigger than the opening of the frame. Now, one thing I will not do, even if a client asks me to, is take an antique print and cut some of the print off to make it fit the frame. What I can do in this case, I can take this part of the frame, I'm gonna grab a pencil, I can take this part of the frame, and on my table saw, I can make this bigger. I can cut this away, here and here. So now, when the frame goes together, I have a bigger opening between here and here. And then the piece will fit. So the real moral, moral of the story is don't cut an antique or original piece of art to make it fit a frame. Uh, you have to alter the frame. And if this was too big to end up being the size, let's say the print was this long, I would have strongly encouraged our client not to cut it and have a different size frame, which I'm sure she would have done because she really loves these prints. Okay, we'll show you more as we get there. Okay, everyone, as we talked about in the last video, we had to make the opening of the frame bigger to accommodate the print. And as you see this, as Kelly pans over the back of the frame, you can see how we took all this wood away, all the way back to here. And if we come down here, we took a lot of wood off of this one too. So the whole thing has been cut out to have a much bigger opening. And that opening now allows the print, of course this is from behind, but it now allows the print to fit in the frame. And as you look at this, you can see how little wood we had to leave, certainly on the top and bottom, in order to make it fit. So, here is the back of the frame, the sample. You see how wide this is, how much wood we have here? And I cut a lot of wood away on one side and even more wood away on the other side, which gives us this. Now, the problem is, you can stay right there, that's perfect. The problem is, this is very weak. I mean, look, I've got one little nail in here and that's it. I couldn't underpin this, it's too small. This is not a very strong joint. Fortunately, this is called a fillet, and you'll see it from the front. It adds a little detail around the inner part of the window of the frame, but it's got a little thickness to it, and that is going to allow me to glue in these L brackets, and that's going to give these rather thin, weak corners a lot of strength. All right, so this is the original frame. She has two of these, and again, she wanted to frame uh, this other piece so it looks fairly similar in the same size frame. And this frame is interesting. It's got little black detail marks all along the inside. It has little marks here, little black flecks. So the closest we could get to this feeling was this frame here. And it is missing one thing. If you look here, this is like a fillet. It's like another more silvery piece on the inside. So this is a molding we started with. We added a silver fillet in here, which you'll see in a minute. And then with a brush, I actually trimmed the brush down till it was like just one or two hairs. On the frame I built, I came along and painted these little details in. And then you notice there's little flecks of paint. I just experimented with splattering paint, all different ways of 
putting it on a toothbrush and you know scraping it letting the paint come off dusting it with spray paint I couldn't come up with a way to splatter it that just kind of had that feeling so I ended up with my little brush by hand making little dots everywhere so now I'm gonna hold up the frame that we built and I think you can see when these are on the wall and they're you know four or five inches apart I think they're not going to look too dissimilar. I think we did okay. The one final battle I have is, I mean, you think it'd be easy, this sort of dusty, you know, brown, right? This color has been a pain. And what you can see is, I don't have it yet. This is too mauvey, too pink. It's too something. I can't quite get my mind around it, but I mix some more color. I think I'm getting closer. Once I get this figured out to get a closer match to that, um, I think I am finally ready to put this together for what I am going to call one of our most patient clients ever, as it took months to get this molding in to begin with. And once you get the molding in, it's taking a long time to do all the detail work on this, but Hopefully, we'll get it done very, very soon. Well, finally, it's done. I was a little worried for a while that I was not going to be able to get the new frame to have the same feeling as the old ones. And as you can probably tell, the new one's in the middle. But I think when this is on the wall, it's going to hang like a nice set. Um, can't wait for a client to see it.